Ethiopia preserves the most ancient historical religious traditions and passes them to the next generation. Religious celebrations held every year represent those traditions. Demkat, which is one of the most colorful celebrations in Ethiopia, is held every year to commemorate the baptism of Christ in the River Jordan by the Baptist John. It is therefore an Ethiopian celebration of Epiphany. Epiphany is observed by Christians all over the world, but is celebrated with a special enthusiasm in Ethiopia. It is one of the greatest holidays for the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and is celebrated every year as a national holiday. Orthodox churches all over the country celebrate Epiphany the same way. The church and the people observe the Feast of Epiphany with warm feeling and ceremony. <laughs> This is the celebration of Epiphany in the historic town of Gwandar, an area that has preserved the original spirit and tradition of Dumka celebration. The three-day festival begins on the eve of 19 January with dramatic and colorful processions. <laughs> On the eve of Tumgal, the holy tablets or the replica of the Ark of the Covenant is taken from each church and the town and come together at a central location. Then, from this central location, the holy tablets move together to the buzzing palace of Emperor Fasilandes. <laughs> The tabots, which are reverently wrapped in rich clothes and put in procession on the head of the priest, represent the manifestation of Jesus at the Messi when he came to the Jordan for baptism. The tabots are taken to the bathing palace where they spend the night of the eve. On their way to the consecrated pool, the tabots are accompanied by a host of singing and ululating believers. Dramatic and colorful processions happen during the night. Ringing of bells, bowling of trumpets and swinging bronze censers all mixed together make the day most colorful. Then the tables rest in their special place. <laughs> The next day, early in the morning, the water body, which symbolizes the Jordan River, is blessed by the priest. The patriarch then dipped a golden cross and extinguished a burning consecrated candle. The crowds gather around the blessed water to have it splashed upon them. The water is either splashed over the people or immerse themselves symbolically renewing their baptismal vows. <laughs>
Tourists from many countries of the world come to Ethiopia to attend the celebration of Epiphany. They see, practice and enjoy the celebration of this great holiday. Here is their impression of the three-day festivity of Tunkan. It's one of the biggest celebrations I've seen and it seems, seems pretty amazing. It's a good festival. I think Timkat is an absolutely amazing festival. There are so many people around here and everyone seems to have fun. And in the morning there was some chanting going on and yesterday a procession. I've really enjoyed it. What impressed you most about it? Um, the thing which most impressed me about Timkat in Gondar was how friendly people act, interact with each other. So there was no fighting going on, there was just a friendly atmosphere and people seem to be very happy and excited about that festival. What impressed you most about Ethiopia and your tour of a couple of days? Well, two things. First thing, of course, uh, the ancient uh, uh, culture, the heritage, you know, the beautiful Aksum and Lalibela, the churches. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Uh, but most of all the people, they are very, very friendly. And of course I know my friend, she's a very friendly pe person. But everyone here is very, very friendly and uh, curious and outgoing, so I like that. I know a little bit about uh, Tim Cut from my friend and uh, uh, we also have a kind of Tim Cut, but then in a different way in, uh, in the Catholic um, religion. Um, but that it's wonderful to see how you celebrate and I like so much uh, everybody is happy and having fun. Uh, I'm very happy to be here and I feel home here. That's a good sign. Uh, I'm being taken like family from all the friends here where I stay. So it feels uh, very much at home. Uh, we can learn a lot about hospitality from people in Ethiopia. Wherever you come, you're invited. Uh, they they are, want to make sure that you are happy and uh, we can learn that. And it's a beautiful country as well. Oh, it was a wonderful, wonderful celebration. It, it, it showcases the uh, the hospitality and uh, just generosity of, uh, of the Ethiopian people. Everybody's been so friendly here. Everybody explained to me what's going on, trying to explain to me as much as possible uh, in, uh, you know, what little English a lot of people have. But, but yeah, they tried to help me out as much as I can to try and understand and appreciate what uh, Tim Cott's all about. What impressed you most about it? Oh, just... Uh, uh, how it brings the whole community together. There's like thousands of people that gathered here for Tim Cut and just to see everybody just enjoying the day just and to celebrate, celebrate the event. Uh, Ethiopia is my first African country that I've been to. So, so far it's been a good impression. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I feel very fortunate that um, I've been able to, to be here in Gondor for, for this celebration. Uh, people are so generous here and friendly here. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it to all my friends. And actually, that's the reason why I came to Ethiopia, because it was recommended to me by another friend that was traveling here last year. And so he, he said, you have to go vi visit Ethiopia. And so I, I planned my trip. And yeah, Ethiopia is my first stop here in Africa. In Ethiopia, it's easier to travel because people are so helpful, generous, and always willing to help the, uh, the tourists out. And um, yeah, it's e relatively easy to travel. I like the food as well, too. So, uh, so uh, I, I've eaten quite a bit of injera since I've been here. So, yeah, I'll tell all those things to all my friends back home. And, yeah, so I'll show them all the thousands of pictures I've taken here so far. I like the lively people, the different cultures, uh, the peaceful way how they treat the uh, And, uh, yeah, Tim Cut is the first time. It's yeah, For me, it's like carnival. The people, yeah, they celebrate and they dance and it's nice yeah. to see it. What impressed you most about this Tumka celebration? Yeah, the, how the people do this procession on the street, where how they dance, and yeah, the, the young people, the old people, all come together, and there's uh, oh, you listen, you can listen to this uh, singing everywhere, and they, oh, it's nice, very nice. It's a, the crowds, like uh, the festival, like the, the atmosphere, uh, really enjoyable. We've. We're just 
and the people have been so friendly. Everybody seems to be having such a good time. Yeah. What very, impressed very you most uh, with it? Um, I think, you know, I think all of this this morning, yeah. and um, like the the atmosphere and how people were enjoying it, yeah. and the mixture between the the ceremony and like people also enjoying themselves and the fun element of it. So you have the series and the, the, the religious element and you also have the enjoyment and the fun element. I thought that was really good. Following the baptism, the Tavots start their way back to the